Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne's Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Supergirl Season 1 Episode 5 called How Does She Do It? Take 2 because <laughs> phone calls. So we have a drone going after Kara and uh, she takes down the drone and takes it to D.O. She's like, why are y'all following me with this, D uh, with this drone? And they said, that's not us. So then uh, Kara goes to the office and then offers to babysit Cat's uh, kid. Cat thinks she wants something and she loves that she that she's asking for something and thinks that she wants something. So she agrees. Then Lucy uh, misses James and that's why she's back in town and she wants to get back together. He doesn't want to do that. And then a bomb goes off, and then Supergirl holds the building steady while everyone else um, leaves. And then um, the drone catches it on film, and it's the same tech that's in the bomb. And they think that Maxwell Lord may have done it or be behind it. So Alex tells Carr that she is heading to the friend zone when they when she thinks about James. And then we have Supergirl rushes to pick up Carter and basically uh, turns into Carter and picks up the kid. And the kid is really, really shy. And um, then we have Alex who goes to Maxwell Lord's lab and she br he brushes them off. And then we have the kid. Um, so Carter's talking to the kid and the kid, like Supergirl, has a, like a crush. And then we have Kara is trying to focus on work. And then we have uh, Maxwell Lord is kind of crushing on Alex. It turns out there's a bomb in Lord's lab. And he kept the wrong wire, so the Supergirl shows up, gets the bomb out of the city, and she gets knocked out, and she wakes up at the DEO under sun lamps. And then we have Ethan Knox is doing it. He's like a uh, disgruntled ex-employee. And my dog is leaving the room. <laughs> so uh, he's saying that he's behind. So then we cut to where Alex thinks Kara is spreading herself too thin. Because she's being the car, the reporter, the babysitter, and Supergirl all at once. And then we cut to where Wynn is playing video games with Carter in Kat's office while Carter was off doing other stuff. And then we cut to where Lucy and Carter talk and, you know, she kind of plays it, you know, say hi, you know. And then we have Alex warns Lord about, you know, Ethan Knox. And he, then she's like, comes out and says, because he's very standoffish against the government. And she finally confronts him about it. So he says that his parents died because of the government. And that's why he doesn't trust it. And then we have James and Carr talk about James and Lucy. And then we have Lucy's leaving town. And so they talk and kiss each other goodbye. And then Carter is gone because they he thinks she's going to be on the train. Because it's like a new train and stuff. So he gets on there, and turns out the um, there's also there's a bomb at the airport, and on the train because of the guy. So uh, Lord helps Carter get on the train, and the guy is there, and the guy is heading to the front of the train. Then the bomb squad shows up at the airport, and Supergirl goes to the train. So he gets rid of the bomb. He tells, Alice, he tells Alice to leave the airport and he'll handle the bomb. So he literally crushes it by the inside and he goes out and says it's a decoy. So the bomber says he's doing it for her, which I think is, is actually his daughter. And then he activates the bomb so Supergirl separates the car while he goes bye-bye. Then Cat shows up afterwards and Kat and Carter talk, and then Carter makes a joke, which is very unlike him. And then Lucy and James are back together, because James went flying to the airport trying to save her. And then we have Carter puts the pieces together, and she knows about the bombs. And that's the end of the episode. 
I would give this episode... I give this a B plus. Yeah. There's just a couple little things in there I didn't really like. Like, uh, what was it? Mm. I don't know. I just don't like a whole back and forth type thing. Like, going to friends and blah, blah, blah. That, I'm not here for that, really. But I know I understand that's part of the show, but it's kind of annoying a little bit. Um, let's see. I do like the introduction of Lucy. I wish she's actually stuck around past season one, but ever since they moved to Vancouver, that will happen in. And what else? I think that's it. It's just a, it's just a couple of key things I didn't like. But other than that, it was a really good episode. I mean, I still enjoyed it to watch it. I think, I think I watched the first season like three times or something, so... I really liked it. So that's the only difference this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell what you think. Do you agree, disagree? And that's when I do it. So just like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Bye, everybody.